And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Braum Swain. Sorry we didn't get to this the other night whenever we were playing. Got a little late, uh, but we're back at it playing uh, this deck today. Um, basically, what this deck's all about is it's about killing lots of stuff. Lots of AoE removal. This deck was um, kind of in response to the Kennen decks that were everywhere. Um, but then again, we just had those um, that hot fix balance patch that did nerf both uh, Poppy and Kennen. And so you see less of those swarm decks, a little bit less of those swarm decks, but uh, what this deck is built to face. But it should still be pretty good. You know, so we have Ice Shards, Avalanche, Bladderveen, lots of AoE removal. Because of like those changes, we're going to be seeing more Pantheon and more Shivana, more of these Demacia Targon decks that I do struggle against. And I think this deck could struggle against as well. But one deck that really uh, fights those is Lurkers. Lurkers uh, just get too much power for the dragons to really trade um, too prof profitably with. And Lurkers have a good matchup against dragons. And I think that this deck should do pretty good against Lurkers. With Lurkers, they have a lot of power, but not very much health. So all of these Avalanches, Bladder Ravines, Ice Shards should do pretty good in that matchup. So that we're gonna have Braum Swain. It's gonna be um, you know Howling Abyss and Feel the Rush for our other top end cards besides those two, and obviously Leviathan for whenever we need some extra punch against some other control decks. That's what that's what we will rely on is Howling Abyss and Feel the Rush. But overall, hopefully we do pretty good against Aggro with uh, Braum and Swain each having six health, so they're hard to get past all this uh, AOE uh, removal. We have other good blockers like House Spider, Avaros, and Sentry. We even have Tavern Keeper that can heal our champions if they take a little bit of damage, or of course heal our Nexus, make sure we don't get burned out. We got Scorched Earth for all sorts of landmarks and for killing large stuff like dragons after our AoE spells. So that's that's basically the deck. Pretty straightforward. Going to be a uh, you know, Freljord Noxus control deck. Let's go ahead and head on over to Ranked. We're going to go play our five games over there. And we got Teemo Swain to start with, so uh, yeah, another Swain control deck, but they'll be using Puff Caps. Uh, we don't really need Scorched Earth, I don't believe. Sending those two back, and I don't, I, I don't know about Swain. Yeah, and so Puff Caps are going to be kind of tough because we do take a long time to kill our opponent, and so Puff, like this could be pretty difficult if they have a fast start. Alright, we'll go ahead and send all these back. This looks like this is going to be a tough matchup. They always have round one Teemo. Yeah, we got Santa Braum. Santa Braum to save the day. Hopefully. Alright, so we can Avalanche and then uh, Sentry after Avalanche. Of course. So Noxus Bandal City. There is no Puff Cat Peddlers. That's a plus. Take but of course, they are Noxus, so they can have Ravenous Flock as well. So even though I can, um, you know, I can challenge with Braum, they can kill Braum fairly easily with just one Ravenous Flock. But it's not like I don't do right? Like, there's. You can't really be scared, right? You can't just, like, not. Uh, you know, do your Braum stuff, right? They're just, they have flock. Yeah, they do. So, our hand's looking pretty bad. Yeah, and this is looking really rough. So, neither of these were the cards that Bandal City Mayor created. So, they still have that card. Looks like that's what Bandal City create, Mayor created. Was a minion that can never die, essentially. Ready the torches. Let the 
So I'll go ahead and go there, which kind of, uh, you know, forces their hand of playing some kind of fearsome blocker. We'll see what they got. Yep, that's a fearsome blocker if I've ever seen one. So two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, twelve. Of course, hope they don't have another ravenous flock, but you never know. This would level up Swain, so Swain doesn't die to ravenous flock. Hmm. Can't stop that one either way. Could use another flock on the mayor, but I was kind of planning on just playing the sentry. Maybe we just pass. No, I'll just get oh, some the Bastion border from here. We know that they have a minion in hand. Safeguard our homes. They really want to keep that. Oh no, the minion doesn't come back to their hand till the end of the round. Sorry. <laughs> Nothing escapes my watch. It's fantastic. I my mustache with bar. I don't know if I should do this, but I don't like this Vandal City Mayor making, you know, having the cost reduction all the time. This is just not what I was really expecting. We're definitely not expecting the Vandal Tree, but yep, that's what I was going to say. It's like, I bet Loping Telescope made it, and yeah, it did. Both go on Leviathan. Nope, just us. So our Swain is already super leveled up. Also, we know that they have one Ravenous Flock in hand. What if they have multiple? They could definitely have another Scorched Earth. If I block here, we go down to seven. And with them having a Leviathan in hand, it's kind of rough. But I think that's my best block. And then I go Tavern Keeper, reheal the Leviathan. So this would stun all three of their units round start. Ugh. That's annoying. That gets their Swain leveled up now. That's a really good card for them to have. And so now we're, we're both of our all of our stuff's done. Ours and theirs. That was quite annoying. I don't understand why they say good game. I guess they can do three damage to me. Like so, we can we can heal our Nexus four. We have we have different options, but it's it's really tough to figure out which one we want to do. We want we can go Leviathan, go get us go get a Ravenous flock, and we can still have Ishar plus. Ravenous Flock, but that's tough. We can have Blighter Ravine with uh, Arachnoid Sentry. That 
That poison dart saved them. Without that poison dart, we had this. Right, remember, all this happens at the same time. So, like, if I go Levi other Leviathan and we just get a little bit of damage on them, like, we can have both our Leviathan and their Leviathans. Like, we can just, it would just be a draw. Um, round start. Because they have changed the rules about that. You now to six, and I'm taking five. <sighs> yeah, we do we do six damage to two Leviathans, but I'm assuming that my my Leviathan can attack and do damage to them under the under the scenario, right? Like I assume that that we would do damage to them with like they wouldn't just be at nine whenever I pass the round. draw. Tie game. We both died at the same time. Hey, what's up, you the best? Doing good, doing good. Anivia control? What is this? This is not something I want to see. This is... Who plays a Nivea? This is awful for us. So Howling Abyss is basically like the only thing I got that like hopefully like they don't find a Nivea very quickly and hopefully our Howling Abyss wins. That's what I was mulliganing for. I did want to find Howling Abyss. It's my best threat in this matchup. They're out there. I'll spot them. So it was the card I wanted to see the most. So I'm glad we have it. Born a patrician, I became a soldier. And uh, Swain's just a you know good attacker. Put a lot of pressure on it. You know, dies to a vengeance. It's fine with me. Okay. I'm fine with that also. Uh, I don't know. I guess I could scorch her at that, but... I guess I could have. Fight the signal fires. Something ancient. No. That's the worst. So obviously my plan here was to entomb plus Scorched Earth, right? Like, that was obviously the plan. That is just the worst possible thing that we could see. That hurts. Hurts a lot. A world in perfect stillness. <sighs> that hurts a lot. I can see the Devastian border from here. That gluttony probably cost us this game. Just that whole line and everything. If I would have just, you know, done nothing, would have been better. These old eyes still see far and clear. I can see the Devastian border from here. Our teeth. 
Alright, so do I want to... Do I want to kill this or a Nivea? I mean, I guess we want to kill this. I don't know. I, I don't know. This is going to be really hard to win. Nivea is a heck of a threat, right? Like, against control decks, like, a Nivea just annihilates control decks, and, um, yeah. That's, that's exactly what we are. We are a control deck. This is a really rough matchup that we talked, like I said, mentioned at the very beginning. It's a really rough matchup. I've dressed for the occasion in red. Definitely could have done things differently. The uh, Entomb play was a risky one because of that card, and it's really not paying off for me. But that's how it goes. That's how it goes. Eyes to meet you. Let's see what they're made of. One smack will do. I will endure. Yeah, we got ten in hand. We're gonna have to play something. That we're just probably setting up harrowing next round and like that's I, I'm not sure what we're doing against harrowing next round right like it's I yeah like they're they're just gonna play harrowing next round and we're gonna lose like that's that's kind of just what's gonna happen exactly how anything else is going to happen besides just we lose to Harrowing. Because they always, they always have it. Yep. Good game. That's a miserable matchup right there. Malphite, that's a good one for the least play champion. Yeah, I could see Malphite being it. Yeah, you, it's really rare to see a Malphite. So now we're playing Taric Pantheon. I don't even know... Yeah, I don't know exactly what this Avrosen Sentry is going to do. Hmm. The Arachnoid Sentry, of course, is kind of hoping that we find Ravenous Flock. There we go, to pair along with it. Nothing escapes my watch. Hoping this works. Cool. Alright, well. Worked for a little bit. That puts it to three health. Worth it because I get to, get to just draw a card. I'll just save spell mana. Peace is a trail painted with blood. Yeah, Malphite's a good one for what's the least played champion. That's a good one. Wow. They must have a lot of units in hand and not very many spells. 
Yeah, it must be a lot of units in hand. The Wounded White Flame noise, you know, I haven't played against this card very much, of course. But just the noise that it's it's been making, like, in the game, it's kind of an annoying noise, isn't it? Like, it doesn't sound like a dragon, really. I don't know. It's not a, a pleasant noise on the ears. You're covered. These old eyes still see far and clear. Rom. Your eight out of twelve. Yeah, that noise. I kind of want to wait to. I kind of want to respond to a fight spell with the Scorched Earth. I know we could Scorched Earth right there, but. Yeah, see? Okay. Have them get that card out of their hand. Also. Look out for Reavers! Down to just only three cards in hand. I like how that single combat helps my Swain level up. Like that's kind of cool. For Empire. Yeah, now it's looking pretty good. Pretty good. Name. Hmm. No, we can do this. I still have enough for Arachnoid Sentry and Ravenous Flock. I'm playing the wrong Swain. This is a mistake that I'm making here, because they know about this Swain. I should definitely be playing the Swain they know about, not the Swain they don't know about. That's a that's a mistake on like my, on, my, on my part on uh, hidden information. Because now they ha they have information that I definitely have another ravenous flock. down to one health. That could help Ice Shard. Okay. But we're gonna get that one. So no champions for our opponent. A lot of champions for us. And we're victorious. It's kind of, you know, that's kind of the name of the game there. The old 1-1-1. The game looks a little easier whenever you have champions when your opponent does not have champions. So, this is going back. Um, do I want to keep Howling Abyss on this? Draven, Scion, Rumble? Like, they're going to be kind of aggressive. So I should maybe send it back, but Howling Abyss is so good. But yeah, I guess we should probably send it back. Because I'll probably keep it, and then we end up, like, drawing another one, and then, like, our hand's too slow.
So kind of assuming that this otter puss is just making discard fodder for them. Let's see what they got here. Another otter puss. I don't, I don't know if I want to use avalanches on otter pie. Or whatever the plural is. a lot of mana for them to waste, so I was happy with that. And I kind of have nothing, so I guess I'll just pass. I mean, I, obviously I could play the Arachnoid Sentry, but, or sorry, the Avarosan Sentry, but if we play Avarosan Sentry, then I don't really want, you know, then like Blight Ravine and Avalanche are a little worse afterwards. So they discarded three cards, and they didn't even discard these pranks. Interesting. They had those things they wanted to discard. Interesting. Interesting. Um, well. Looks like we'll do this to blow up the spell shield. So the the Blighter Ravine gets under a spell shield. So it's still damage, but then I can't Scorch Earth, right? Because, uh, you know, like it. Like the Scorch Earth would get hit by the spell shield. Might as well attack these. <laughs> Alright, so that they don't just play a new rumble. Um, like if I scorch her that last round, they play a new rumble this round. Let's see. So we're going to be playing scorch earth. Then, what else are we doing? That's three mana. If I go Braum, you know, like, that's like the rest of my mana. Could go Sentry to stun Yordle, but uh, that doesn't sound great. Could play this thing to simply block and draw. I guess I could just lead here. Like, they probably poisoned Art the 3-1, right? And so it's like, it's like Avalanche isn't great. I mean, I guess, I guess I could pass, and if they do that, then Avalanche and kill the... Kill that instead of using Scorch Earth. Kill that thing with Avalanche. How they kill Braum? I mean, just Ravenous Flock. Like 5, five Braum block the 3-5? You don't think they play Flock? I mean, they, they play Noxus. They don't play Flock, they weird. But, like, basically any Noxus spell, right? I don't know. Do they have Scorched Earth? Flock? Anything? Well, we'll kind of find out. I can also go this this route. I guess this route's probably better. Anyway, get a point of damage on the Electric Yordle. So, like, they're, they, they do only have two cards we don't know about. My problem's gonna have to be tussling anyway. Like it's gonna, it's gonna have to be taking damage anyway. So like, if they have those kind of removal spells, they have them, I suppose. Could avalanche then avalanche then take heart? Absolutely. You want to see the full art for Santa Prom? Let's see. I click this button over here. Yeah. Santa Prom so cool. <laughs> yeah, Santa's getting pretty buff this year. <laughs> His abs have abs. <laughs> I hope they don't have Scorched Earth. They're not really acting like they have Scorched Earth.
Okay, so my Brom's only survived... Oh, another Brom, cool. It's only survived four damage so far, because it's gotten in tussles with the Otterpus twice, and then the Avalanche. So it actually isn't too close to leveling up. I like having another take card to go along with it, though. Nothing escapes my watch. <laughs> you missed Trundle saying Avalanche. Trundle does have a very good Avalanche voice. Avalanche. From all the regions we are. So there's no real reason for them not to attack out. So, Braum needs to survive one more damage. You know, after this bladder ravine, Braum will need to survive one more damage to level up. Maybe they will poison dart Braum. I don't really know why they would, but that would be pretty cool. Darn. That would have been pretty cool. So this is a pretty good setup that we have going on here. If they can't kill this Braum, right? Because uh, we're going to be able to lead with Swain. And, like, they won't have any blockers. And so, like, if they play something that can block Swain, we have the Braum that can challenge it. And then we can also, of course... The, the Blight Ravine deals damage to the Braum on this round, so we can also take heart the Braum. So that Blight Ravine really helped out our Braum in that respect. Or we could just... They only have 5 mana left. Let's just stun here. Now that's going to die to... Swain's ability. The wheel of war turns it all away. Leave them over your best. But unfortunately, Braum won't level up because Swain's gonna kill him. I guess I could have done it the other way around. I could have the Braum deal damage first, and then Braum would have leveled up. Hmm, maybe I should have done that. These puff caps. How do we keep drawing these puff caps? We're, we're not very many. So how wide can they go? How about a game of cash? Much too heavy for you. I'm just gonna pass here because we can we can block these. Obviously, I would like to play Leviathan this round, but if we need to, we can play that Sentry to stun. I suppose they could also just pass and. That's not as good for me. Indecision is the hmm. first of many. Astounding curiosities lie ahead. Okay. So they have four mana still. Man, I think this is safe. Order, sir. Bring forth our you know, like this ravenous flock doesn't doesn't target really anything right now. I think this is safe enough. Axis coming right up. Help is underway. You lack discipline. What are your thoughts on a Viego rally deck since his ability creates ephemeral encroaching mess after he attacks? Doesn't always create those after your attacks, but yeah, if if things die during combat and haven't died yet, then would create them. Um I think rallies are are strong just uh, you know, both Golden Ages, Relentless Pursuit, I think they're real strong cards, and I think Viego's a really strong card, so um, in theory, putting those together does sound pretty good. And Darkness Control. We didn't really play against any Swarm decks. I guess maybe that last deck was kind of a Swarm deck. 
uh, but for For our, our Braum Swain that wants to play against Swarm decks. Keeping Ravenous Flock because it's good against both champions, but of course, there we go. We need something to help enable the Ravenous Flock, which Avalanche kind of does. And just kind of keeping Braum because Braum cool. Braum can make their life a little difficult. So we'll either be. Let's go and kill that thing. We're either going to be 2-1-1, um, one, one, or 3-1-1, one, one, or 2-2-1. Two, two, really hope they don't have Vagar. Really hope they don't have Vagar. Okay. We draw a scorched earth by chance. Born a patrician, I became a soldier. I really don't want to see like mini morph, right? Because like they can mini morph one champion and then get you know, like especially like the Swain and then get mini morph back the next round, mini morph the Braum. It does take up a lot of their rounds, but yeah, of course they had it. I feel this by sword. It takes up a lot of mana, but it's a couple good plays. Good Howling Abyss draw. So yeah, perfect Howling Abyss draw. Because now we have the time to do that with how slow the mini morphs were. Neither the flames nor the depths can claim me. Captain. Perfect Howling Abyss draw. It's going to be tough for my opponent to win this from here now. I think we're about to be 3-1-1. <laughs> Mini Morph is a cool removal spell, but you you still die to 3-3s. Three 3-3s threes. Three threes will kill you. I know they have Mini Morph, but I still kind of want to just play Leviathan. And... Just force them to spend six more mana on Mini Morph that doesn't like help them at all. Deploying. I am here until I am no more. So it gives them no blockers. Um, but it does mean that these things die to okay, there we go. To say it does mean those things die to Vile Feast and Pokey Sticks now, but it also puts them down to six. And it levels up my Swain immediately. GG's, that's a 3 1 1. Yeah, so Braum Swain looking good. You know, 3 1 1. You know, kind of basically a 4 1. Says Aroas. Yeah, I mean, I can <laughs> I can live with that. Yeah, that was uh, pretty impressive considering we didn't really play against the Swarm decks that like would be the good matchups for us, too. We played against a lot of control, right? Like We even got paired against a Nivea control, a deck I haven't seen in months, a deck that's a terrible matchup for us. That was our only like one loss, right? It was like, just like this random, terrible matchup for this deck that I haven't played against in months. We suddenly get paired against it, um, and it, it was... Uh, I think it was like a Riot employee also that was playing it to, you know, just, I guess, trying to bring it back, just finding like a, a really bad matchup for our deck. That's a deck that I don't expect to ever play again. So if, you know, like that was really random playing against that deck is what I'm saying. So um, kind of like the realistic decks that you actually play against. Um, we were 3-0-1. So, um, you know, really good at record. And, uh, you know, just a good, uh, good showing, I think. You know, I was happy with that second Howling Abyss. Very happy with that. Um, but we just kind of saw the power of just having Braum, Swain, Leviathan, and then just like a whole bunch of AOE removal and some Ravenous Flocks. It's nothing fancy, right? But it just kind of gets the job done. So there we go. All right, so that's Braum, Swain. Those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there, and as always, leave those comments. If you're looking for a deck that like is pretty good against aggro, this is it. You know, like maybe you're in like the lower uh, levels of ranked, and you face lots of aggro decks, lots of people just playing aggro, trying to grind 
up. Um, I've definitely heard people uh, in those situations. And if that's the case, maybe give this deck a try, you know, and, and if you like playing control decks, if you like, um, you know, kind of like these AOE control decks like this, these are easier decks to play also. Uh, it's not, you know, it's it's not too difficult to play Avalanche, right? Like this is a card that's, you know, not a difficult, you know, not you don't really mess up Avalanche, right? Like, they just play units, you play Avalanche, right? Like, that's just kind of it, <laughs> you know? Uh, when you play a deck that has tons and tons of, like, created cards and tons of decisions, those are definitely more difficult control decks. This one, kind of easy. Wait, they play their units, you play your Avalanche, right? Um, so, if you want... So, it's a little bit easier deck to play also, while still being a control deck. So, if you're looking for something like that, uh, give Braum Swain a try. All right, but that's going to be it for this video. So as always, leave, uh, hit that like button, leave those comments. Let me know what you think about it. Let me know if it works for you, um, anything like that. Hopefully y'all enjoyed it. Let me know. But uh, as always, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you for the next video.